We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Pathfinder. This console reports on the militia's current strike team missions, Pathfinder. Please speak with Tyrion Candros for authorization to participate. Some serious kit over here. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. I'm new to this. Being a Pathfinder, running a ship... You'll be fine. As for the ship, I can help. I knew the Tempest when she was a blueprint. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. We were all expecting a golden world. Now there's just a long road ahead. But hold on to that dream. It might see us through. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit.
A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow? All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. <laughs> People have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No, I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right? Set us down at this nav point. What are we even supposed to do here? 
Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and, ultimately, hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. If EOS is like Habitat 7, that signal we scan must be connected with the atmosphere. We could use the outpost and... Door is getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. They must have known these wouldn't last in these conditions. How would they know? They didn't have a Pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos a home. Got a code lock key. Gives us access if we need it. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. This analysis provides us with important research data, Pathfinder. If you continue to scan and collect this data, we can utilize it to develop new technologies and upgrades for equipment such as your weapons and armor. Sandstorms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? Eos might have looked great back in the Milky Way, but up close, it's a hellscape. Farthing girls on my case to stay positive. Put on a brave face for the rest of the team. But I can't shake the feeling that I'm gonna die out here. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Let's check out this relay tower. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's perimeter? That would not be advised. Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we'll know where to look for that signal. Pathfinder, that door is locked. Until power is restored, there is no way to unlock it or gain entry to these buildings.
Huh. Guess that ship wasn't Ket, then. They don't knock. There are people here. We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. Really, Ryder? There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station, make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed. Generator interface possible. Location marked. You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use.
Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Walls could talk. Actually, with enough sensory data, I might be able to reconstruct an image of the past. Seriously? You can do that? Normally, it would be impossible. But since this is an initiative building, I have access to a multitude of data and arrays. It actually worked. Is there audio? Compiling now. We can't survive another attack. The storms and radiation were already killing us. Now we've got those things. We can't return to the Nexus with our tails between our legs. The whole station is counting on us. Then they're counting on corpses. Damn. That's... grim. Wilcox thinks I'm crazy, but I know what I saw. Eyes on the mount watching us. We're not alone out here. This log was recorded a day before the first Ket ambush on Site 1. The Ket scouted them out. Another code, like we already found. Pathfinder, I have enough sensory data to reconstruct an image. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. You step outside recently. There's nothing golden about EOS. Not saying there won't be challenges, but we can do this, Wilcox. We have to. It's like we're listening to ghosts. Looks like salvage. New. Days ago new. Probably the guy at the relay tower, or his friends. Well, 
what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source, and maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. Special requisition, all-terrain scout rover. A Nomad, six-wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. So shiny. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Detecting above normal radiation level. I can't get traction. It's too steep. Switch to six-wheel drive. It'll get you up there in a snap. Got it. Signal's coming from that structure up ahead. Radiation level's normal. I'm picking up initiative tech nearby from... Above us? There, look, up near that scaffolding. Someone's shuttle. Pretty banged up, but spaceworthy. working, but I'm just getting random symbols. Glyphs. With more glyphs to expand my database from Habitat 7, I could interface fully with the console. And hopefully start up whatever helps the atmosphere. I could provide analysis via the scanner, Pathfinder. It's slippery, but there's a 
a great view. Who'd be crazy enough to carry heavy equipment up there? That should do it. Too sophisticated for a salvager. Who else is studying this place? Building connection. I apologize for any discomfort. The system seems unstable. This would happen when my dad tried doing this? Your father interfaced directly with the atmosphere processor. That proved extremely hazardous. These structures could reveal its control center. System remains unstable. Doubling our power input might accelerate the process. I'll give it a shot. come this far, just let it ride. I've been studying this tech for months. I don't know how you activated those glyphs, but you have to let them cycle through. All right, time to get off. Don't like being sat on, huh? I know, I know. Who am I? I mean, it's obvious who you are. I saw the ship swoop in. You're a pathfinder. I was beginning to think the initiative just made you guys up so the rest of us wouldn't lose hope, but you're for real, huh? Are you for real? You were going to tell me who you are. I might just be the solution to all your problems. Well, look at that. System has stabilized. I'm establishing a connection. Oh, crap. I know these things! From Habitat 7! Later! Just take them out! first tangle with the remnant was a lot messier. The remnant? These monoliths, the observer and assembler bots, they're all the remnants of something much bigger. But that's too long. Ugh, I hate long. So, the remnant. Like, my name's better as Petey. Ryder, you've been studying this remnant technology? What have you learned? Plenty. Not nearly enough. It's old, it uses glyphs, and it's well protected. I saw this tech clear the skies on Habitat 7. We're hoping it could do the same for EOS. Huh. Atmosphere manipulation? Maybe. Fits the model. All remnant tech is connected. You interfaced with this monolith somehow, and now it's pinging the others. If you wake them up too, they must lead to whatever master switch might fix the radiation. Interface with the monoliths, follow the connection to the source. Easy enough. Sure. Just don't piss off too many observers. Here, take my nav points. I'll be... I've got to figure this interfacing out. Just be careful. This planet's all kinds of strange. levels have spiked to Pathfinder. Scourge. Might be dangerous, but we should check it out.
person who left this behind. She was part of the first wave of colonists, wasn't she? The probability is high. This researcher may have left data pads at other remnant sites as well. your dossier. Dossier, huh? Fancy. So, what's it say? That's classified. Uh-huh. Don't start something you can't finish, Harper. Okay, look. Not starting anything. I'm military, you're not. But we're in this together now. Only thing that counts is getting out of it. If you've got the skills to help with that, and it looks like you do, then... Then we're good? We're good. like a cat facility of some kind. Those assholes took over my best research site. They won't let you near the monolith without a fight. Life support at 100%. Do they know we're here? They've 
got the monolith well protected. We'll need to cut that shield's power supply. Let's get to it before there's any more cat. <laughs> Andromeda Initiative. We're not here to cause trouble. So you say. Still haven't told me who you are. Oh, come on, Drax. Stop that. Ventra, what are you doing here? I'm with the Pathfinder. That Pathfinder. A friend of Ventra's a friend of mine. You can call me Ryder. I'm Drag, Clan Nackmore. You'll forgive me if I didn't just trust a stranger from the Nexus. They haven't exactly treated us Krogan well. What are you doing out here? Checking out these monoliths. The Keds seem pretty interested in this one. Looks like you cleared it out for us, though. You said I didn't save any for you? Nexus no shit about the cat. They think they're safe. <sighs> but they're just waiting to die out there in space. I've been quads deep on a couple of planets for a while now. Taking out cat bases, fighting ground troops. <sighs> I know what they can do. It's not pretty. You know, Drac, we could use someone with your... Skills. Tempting as that is, Vetra, I'm a little too old to be carrying humans through a fight. Besides, the day I help the Nexus again is the day the clouds part and the cat keel over. No offense. None taken. Good, because I'm getting bored and the cat are getting stronger. Seem particularly interested in this alien tech. Remnant? Yeah, that. I'm gonna go find more to shoot. Try to keep your head out there. should now be able to interface Pathfinder. Got it! That did... whatever that did, I see pathways lighting up all over. 
The monoliths are resonating. QEC contact? Well, whatever's happening, you're definitely connecting. You did good. Keep doing more. component for security tact for Site 2. Looks like they had some sort of special project going. Let's find the rest. A field log pathfinder, issued to patrolling Ket. I don't need a translation to know when I'm hearing a monster. Adding to language database. He was tortured. Nexus didn't mention anything about this. We knew some were lost, Ryder. We weren't told they were left. Wonder how many are out there. Too many. Lexi, update Nexus records on Anton, Darren T, and get a recovery shuttle out here. Good idea. If he's got family, they deserve closure. We'll give them more than closure. We'll finish what he started. Levels have spiked, Pathfinder. When they sent the first colonists down here, everyone was so excited. After all the shit the Nexus had been through, we finally had something to believe in. Then the reports came back. This time will be different. Yeah, I'm more than ready to believe again. Station deployment. Look there. That spot has shelter, water, stable ground. It wasn't. The Site 1 folks were interested in the monoliths too. Did they learn anything? Mostly what you learn the hard way. But hey, now you're here. levels no. more remnant bots these ones don't seem hostile
detect a high level of remnant encryption here, Pathfinder. To continue, you will need to decrypt it. Interface accepted. Can't drop ship. Seriously? Can't catch a break. where we find remnant tech. I was just thinking the same thing. Radiation levels have spiked, Pathfinder. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. Dad taught you to shoot, you said. The basics. The fancy stuff I got from a Batarian Merc who took pity on me. She really was something. Old as the stars, had seen everything. I wish Zed could have met her. Lake. The tech's underground, too. 
door. Come on! It's forming a bridge. Looks solid. If not, prepare to swim. Radiation levels within acceptable limits.